In this video, we'll be trying to solve the jam physics question on Coulomb's law. The question here says, the force of repulsion between two point charges, 5 microcoulomb and 8 microcoulomb, separated by a distance of 0.02 meter apart is solution to this question so let's take down the solution so solution all right our first tax here is to list out the given parameters now in this case we're giving two point charges so two charges let's call them q1 and q2 so let's take q1 uh given so first things first list out given parameters given the first thing I'm giving there is Q1, and Q1 is equal to 5 micro -coulomb. Next up, we have an 8 micro -coulomb. So number 2, we have a second chart, Q2, it's equal to 8 micro -coulomb. Also, they said separated by distance of 0.02 meters apart. So number 3, the distance, let's call it R. It's equal to 0.02 meters. So we have this. All right, we have to find the force of repulsion. So let's call that F number four. The force of repulsion F, capital F, is equal to unknown. All right, so how do we solve this question here? Now, this question to solve this question, we need an idea of Coulomb's law. For, for Coulomb's law, it is stated that the force of attraction between two charges is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of their distance apart okay that's um, Coulomb's law in that's Coulomb's law but in the mathematical format or in the mathematical statement we have that columns from Coulomb's law f is equal to kq1 q2 all over r squared this is a mathematical expression of Coulomb's law all right, so if you can look at this, that K is a constant, okay? So the K there is a constant, and whether you're given or not, the value of K is equal to 9 times 10 to the power 9. This is the numerical value of K. Also note that K in some questions will be given as 1 all over 4 pi E naught, all right? So whether they give you the value as 1 over 4 pi E naught or K, the value is simply 9 times 10 to the power 9. All right, so let's impute values. So from here, the force of repulsion F will be equal to K, which is 9 times 10 to the power 9, into FQ1 multiplied by Q2. Now, what's Q1? Q1 is equal to 5 micro -coulomb, and that's equal to 5. We have to convert this micro, this micro -coulomb to just column. Now, note that micro is a prefix. Is a prefix whose numerical value is 10 to the power minus 6. All right, so you can put column here. Also, 8 micro column becomes 8. The micro in numerical value is 10 to the power minus 6. Then you have column. That becomes Q1 is 5 times 10 to the power minus 6. So into Q1, 5 times 10 to the power minus 6. Into Q2, 8 times 10 to the power minus 6. This into so all of this into r squared the value of r is uh, 0 0.02 so i have r as 0 0.02 that's r or squared so we have this all right let's solve this question here from here we have that f is equal to let's work with numerators so i have 9 times 10 to the power 9 this multiplying 5 times 10 to the power minus 6 multiplying 8 times 10 to the power minus 6. My value there would be 0 0.06, 0 0.36. So I have this as equal to 0 0.36. That's my value. All divided by, let's look at denominator, 0 0.02 all squared. And if I punch 0 0.02 all squared, that gives you 0 0.00. 0, 4. I have this. Okay. All right. Let's divide this. If we do this division, that becomes 0 0.36 divided by 0 0.0004. My answer is 900. 
and we know that F is force and force is measured in Newton. So my answer becomes 900 Newton. All right. So you can see that therefore the force of repulsion between the charges is equal to 900 Newton. This becomes the answer to this question. Okay. Now let me give you a task as usual. What if this was not microcolumn? What if this was I will just change the prefix and let's see how you can solve this. Okay, so let me edit this. All right, so here's your task. All right, so I've changed, observed I've changed the prefix from micro column to nano column and C. Also, I've changed the second micro column to, I've changed the second micro column to milli column, as you can see here. All right, so the same values, but you now have nano column and milli column. So in this Question here you ask that the force of repulsion between two point charges 5 nano column and 8 milli column separated by distance of 0.02 meter apart is now solve the same question your task is to find the value of nano column as well as the value of milli column and then leave your answer in the comment section and I will tell you if you're correct or not all right don't forget that you can get my books and courses on my website. Simply visit www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses to check out any of the available courses or get my books at www.jonahimano.com forward slash books to check out any of the available books. Do well to register an account to the website and then proceed to get any of the available courses or books. Don't forget that you can also join my channel membership to gain access to exclusive content for just channel members. All right. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, like this video. And of course, leave a comment for the comment. I give you a task, solve the question and leave your answer in the comment section. And I will tell you if you're correct or not. Don't forget to also subscribe to this channel. If it's your first time or you're yet to subscribe, please do what. Please do well to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and select all so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content. Then finally, share this video to your friends and colleagues so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.